Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Ace of Room Tarot. Hey, Ace of Room Tarot. All right, so just a simple reminder if this is your first time, please uh, check the tips or the description box below. Um, I place their tips on how to use general tarot readings on YouTube. Um, so that would really help. We will start with the oracle, oracle cards here. Um, just to generally we'll clarify the oracle cards with the tarot cards. And let's go. So for you, Gemini, what we got here is the two of earth, four of water, attraction, keep an open mind, you are limitless, and choose love. So with the two of earth, there's definitely juggling between two things. Um, by the way, I could be talking to your person here, Gemini. Energies can be vice versa. So two of earth is telling us that there could be some attraction when going on with this these two people um and kind it kind of put you on a stagnant situation with the uh, four of water um you're not making any choices but you're thinking of the you're thinking of choosing the one that is more fun kind of mysterious um attract more attractive to you not really thinking what's in your heart because it's saying here choose love um and that you can do everything you choose all right gemini so keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations um with the four of water there could be some missing opportunities here um because this one is also the moping around card um, you know, not really moving, can't decide with the two of earth. Um, so we're going to clarify these cards now with the tarot deck. So I'll just shuffle it here for you just a second. So the current energy here, Gemini, is the hanged man. The highest that can be attained is the ace of wands. What's underneath is the six of um, swords. In the past is the lover's card and the outcome is the nine of wands bottom of the deck is the chariot so someone here wanna run to you wow okay so this could be your energy um, Gemini the Empress this is Taurus Libra card but you could also be embodying this Empress energy um, with the hangsman so you're kind of hanging in there um and you know sitting in your throne um having everything you need there's also an energy here of growth nurturance and you want to stay in this level you're quite ready for a relationship here with the empress it's going to be good it's a great time to find a relationship if you're single and if you're not if you're in a relationship um your relationship is growing there's love abundance this hanged man is being indecisive and with the four of cups I understand because I think there are choices there's a choice that you need to make um, and there's attraction with those two choices so let's see what this ace of wands here it's with the knight of cups so we're getting Scorpio energy They'll be coming to you with an offer to have this intimate moments with you, offer their commitment, and they they are full of positivity. They're bringing with them sincere heart. Um, okay, so let's see what this six of swords here. Moving to calmer waters. There is a slow progress when it comes to moving away from turbulent waters from this confused mind from this juggling between two things um, there could be someone traveling t towards you by boat this could be a Taurus person but it could it could be just you clearing your mind from any clutter and then we've got your card here Gemini the lover's card it's also our twin flame energy and the ace of cups up is a Pisces energy but any waters 
also any water sign. There was a choice that needed to be made in the, pa in the past. And with the hanged man, I think that that um, crossroad hasn't been resolved. If this Pisces energy sees you as their twin flame, like a soulmate kind of energy, spiritual connection, they balance themselves when it comes to you. So they watch their emotion, they watch what they say, they're patient and loving towards you. In the past, you were quite mature when dealing with people. You may be a very loving, um, just pure at heart. You have learned to um, keep your heart safe. If you can see the King of Cups, the cup here is close to his heart. So he's only giving it to the right person. But at the present, there is a moment of, you know, holding back, um, being indecisive. Because I guess you have learned your lesson or the other person. So the nine of wands and the two of wands. There is an energy here of someone not so happy. They're kind of sad because you are choosing to work on yourself. You walking away from one of the individuals here and they're not happy there's going to be jealousy with this new partnership that you're going to be with because this is either you taking control of your life or new partnership moving on to new partnerships here but there's definitely new partnership or moving on but then someone is going to get sad or not happy with your choice at the bottom of the deck um gemini is a chariot you will no longer be single eventually looks like there's going to be some commitment here true love um you are on the driver's seat and being this libra energy here air sign um there will be some changes when it comes to you being single if you're single you're going to be committed here and it could be a commitment which is signing contracts your documents but you come from a loving heart because you're the gemini here but you want to make sure that you you decide for yourself it's not for anything else or there might be an energy here of having trouble letting go of being single and not so sure about commitment, not so sure about, you know, being committed to one person. And But you do want some true love. There's some true love really here. There's a need to balance. Going back and forth, going back and forth. We're a little bit um, confused. With the Ace of Wands, because the Ace of Wands was with the Knight of Cups. This is definitely a water sign. And the universe is saying to give it a go. You may need to move to another place. You may be thinking of moving to another place. There is also an energy here of gratitude. Being grateful to everything. And choose love. And that you can do. Trust that you're here to experience life. Um, and just follow what your heart says. Make sure to have your limitations as well with the uh, with the Libra card, with the Justice card. So the outcome here is take control of your of all the details of your life. You are limitless. It says you can do whatever you want. Bodying this Empress, which means you will take care of yourself and you will take care of everybody. So don't be don't be stuck. If if ever you're stuck, you may need to change your perspective here with the Hanged Man. Because um, you might be in a position where you're waiting for nothing. And communication. Communication, of course. Ex Self-expression here with the two of wands. Okay? So thank you so much for watching, Gemini. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.